the Daughters of Sheba Foundation shines a light on stories that many women choose not to speak about, revealing the strength and resilience of those who emerge from the shadows. It is through stories and storytelling that we bring insightful, inspiring, and informative content to uplift, engage, and educate women on the myriad of issues that affect their lives. Consider liking and following us to receive our inspirational posts, videos, and stories daily. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and interact with us. Sarah stirred her latte absently, her eyes fixed on the bustling street outside the cafe window. Across from her, Rachel leaned in, concern etched on her face. I just don't know anymore, Rach, Sarah sighed. Mark and I were like strangers living in the same house. He expects dinner on the table every night, but he can't even remember to ask how my day was. Rachel nodded sympathetically. I'm so sorry, Sarah. That sounds really tough. It is. I love my job at the firm, but Mark acts like it's just a hobby. He doesn't understand the pressure I'm under to make partner. Sarah's voice quivered slightly. Sometimes I wonder if I made a mistake getting married so young. Rachel reached out and squeezed her friend's hand. Hey, you're not alone. I see it all the time with my married friends. It's like once the ring goes on, some men expect their wives to become 1950s housewives overnight. Sarah managed a weak smile. What about you? Any prospects on the horizon? Rachel let out a short laugh. God, no. And to be honest, I don't think I'll ever get married. Sarah's eyebrows shot up. Really? Never? Nope. Rachel said firmly. I've worked too hard to get where I am in my career. I'm not willing to give that up to become someone's idea of a good wife. The men I've dated always seem to expect me to scale back my ambitions once things get serious. Sarah nodded slowly. I get that. Sometimes I wonder what my life would be like if I'd focused on my career first. It's not perfect, Rachel admitted. There are lonely nights, but when I think about the freedom I have, the ability to make my own choices without compromise, I wouldn't trade it for anything. The two women sat in contemplative silence for a moment, the buzz of the cafe wrapping around them like a cocoon. You know what? Sarah said suddenly, straightening up. I think it's time I had a serious talk with Mark about expectations, equality, and what we both want from this marriage. Rachel smiled. That's my girl. Whatever happens, just remember, your happiness matters too. As they gathered their things to leave, both women felt a renewed sense of purpose. Whether married or single, they were determined to live life on their own terms. Do like and follow us, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel to interact with our content. We post uplifting, educational, and drama-free content regularly throughout the day, seven days a week. Thanks again for watching.